Hi, it's Sean Payton of the New Orleans Saints, and this week on Love to Eat, we're talking oysters. And if we're in New Orleans and talking oysters, it's all about charbroiled oysters at Drago's. Well, Coach, you're not alone with your love for charbroiled oysters at Drago's. Katie on Facebook and David on Instagram are right there with you. So we're in the heart of Metairie, and I can't wait to chow down on the best little bite in town. Welcome to Drago's. Tommy, tell me a little bit about your iconic restaurant. Well, we're almost 50 years old. My mom and dad started it in 1969, and we've been serving oysters ever since. We do it a dozen at a time. How many dozens of oysters do you think you serve a day? Well, I can tell you this. Between this restaurant and our Hilton location, we do over 3 million oysters charbroiled a year. So how, how did you come up with this recipe? Dude, I just got lucky. A long time ago, we used to do a barbecued redfish on the half shell where we cooked it with the skin and scales. And I would talk about how the skin and scales act as a second plate and holds all the natural juices and bastings in. And I'm starting to think, you know, natural juices, you know, what do people do when they cook turkeys and do the oyster dressing for Thanksgiving? They want the oyster water. So the oyster water with the oysters, the butter garlic sauce. This is the same butter garlic sauce we used 30 years ago on our redfish on the half shell. Butter, garlic, parsley, cheese, boom, they're delicious. Butter, garlic, parsley, cheese, are you kidding me? I can't wait to get on the grill. But you know, it's for professionals only. How, you, you just gonna be a- Come you on, know, you gotta <laughs> let me come back here just for a second. You're coming, let's go. Let's do it. I mean, what's your secret recipe here? Well, the secret recipe, it's love and Louisiana oysters. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we've got the best oysters around. This is just butter, margarine, garlic, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of black pepper. A mixture of Parmesan and Romano cheese with a little bit of parsley in it, right on top, just a little bit. And a little bit more just to make sure we get them all covered. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing, a little bit more butter. And now we just sit and wait. I was going to ask you, where, where do you get your oysters from? Well, most of our oysters come from Plaquemines Parish or St. Bernard Parish. Remember, Louisiana oysters are good because there's a constant mixing of the water, the fresh water and the salt water, so we call it brackish water. That results to a great oyster because that oyster absorbs all the nutrients from the fresh water, all the nutrients from the salt water. We're just gonna hit it with just a little bit of water. That water creates steam. Steam is hotter than fire. It helps cook them faster, because the, the trick to this is you wanna cook them as fast as you can, and, and you'll tell that they're done because you'll see the ribs on the side of the oyster. These, these things are just screaming. They're ready to jump on the plate, and let's eat them in a the dining room. God, these things look so good. The sizzle on them. The smell, the aroma, this looks awesome, man. Let's toast them. Cheers, buddy. Oh, wait. You know what, when I got married, my wife gave me a bottle opener. <laughs> How about that? Naturally, New Orleans right here. Toast. Cheers, man. Let's dig in. Dig in. Wow. Outstanding. Just the explodes in your mouth. It's yeah. unbelievable. This, this dish, you got to keep it simple. You know, there's some you keep people talking, wanna, I'm digging Some people want to put bacon on it. Some people put blue cheese. Other people put different oh. things on it. Let me take butter, garlic, parsley, cheese, done. You know, and, and then what you do is you take the shell and you get all the butter. You chuck that. And oh. you know, we are in New Orleans. I know you know this, but I'm going to take the lead here. I know, take where, you, I know bread, where you're going. I know where you're going with that. A little bit of French bread, a little bit of butter, garlic. Now it's my turn to eat and your turn to talk. Well, I tell you what, I'm not going to waste my time with French bread when I got these bad boys. What have these oysters meant to you and your family? Well, obviously it puts my kids through school. It took a mom and pop restaurant to the next level and turned it into one of the top restaurants in the city of New Orleans, which is arguably one of the top few restaurant cities in the world. It's just that it was a dish. We went out on a limb with it and it took off. I mean, it's easy. It's delicious. Best in the city right here. Well, right. Can't get any better. That's the only reason I'm here for, for the Thai Royal Oysters. I love the fact that they're so, so moist and juicy. The flavoring of it with the garlic and the butter is just fantastic. Love it. Me and my wife came out and I had about three dozen by myself with a group of friends of ours and they thought we were sharing. No, there's no share. You gotta order your own when you come with me. So as we wrap up, tell me a little bit about the secret to your success and why do so many people love to eat your oysters? It's simple. We use great product, Louisiana oysters. And then on top of that, our employees, you know, a lot of people talk to, about their employees and they say they're like team members. But you know, we don't play basketball here. We're not a team. We're a family of employees. And we that's treat what makes each it work. other, that's what we makes treat each work. other like family and that's what makes it work. It's yeah. that simple.